Hey guys, it's Gwyneth and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm in a different setup. It's a messy setup and that's because I'm in the process of moving and a normal, well together YouTuber would wait till everything's nice and pretty to make this video. But I'm actually packing today for vacation and I wanna throw in some of these pieces, but I wanted to also do a proper haul. So the compromise was messy background. I also look a little rough today. The blue dress and it says it's 23% recycled cotton, which is pretty cool. And since we're going to the beach, I wanted just to get some casual dresses. I'm now realizing I don't know what kind of bra you would wear with this. And it's definitely not the kind that you should go without a bra. So that might be a little tricky. Maybe if I throw it over a swimsuit and it's like beachy wear, then I can get away with the funkiness. I got this in a size small and it was only $4.99. So I do think that is a pretty good deal. Okay, so thoughts on this dress. I did find my strapless bra. Surprising that I found it in the hecticness of this move, but this dress shows every curve, every, like it bunches up just with like underwear lines. It shows all the lining. I do think it's a cute look, but it probably isn't what I'm gonna feel the most confident in. I think the length is a good length. It does feel very comfortable. I will say that, like I feel so comfortable in this dress. So if you don't mind it kind of hugging all the, all the bits, I think that's good. I thought this would just be an easy top. It's just a stretchy crop top, but I also like that it's long enough. Okay, so I thought this was size extra small and it was only $3.99. I feel like this is a good like basic piece. I don't know how trendy this top is, but it kind of was giving me like OG Abercrombie Hollister vibes when I saw it. So that's what made me want it. It's got a stretchy back and then it just comes around the front and then ties over the neck. And then it cinches in the front and you can tie it to adjust, which is pretty cool. It's a very like thin cotton. But I paid $3.20. Deals on deals. I'm not really sure how I'm feeling. Maybe I'd wear it if I had something more high-waisted. I don't know. This one just, I feel like it looks like I'm wearing a swimsuit. Okay, this one's definitely one out of my comfort zone. These just kind of <laughs> jumped out to me and I thought they were fun and a good alternative to wearing skirts and denim shorts. Maybe a little too short for this. We'll have to see, but they like flare at the bottom. They feel more like elastic, very almost like swimsuit material. And this actually may be cool paired with this. It sold for $18, but I paid $14.40. Yeah, these kind of remind me of Care Bears. I may be too short for these because they do go pretty long. Like, I basically have to be tiptoes. I'm not sure if I did these strap things correctly, but I just wrapped it like once around the back and then just tied here. You also could, like, let's say you're wearing a shorter top. You could like have it lace up more. It says they're 90s boyfriend jeans, so I'm hoping like the fit will be flattering. The light wash denim is all around my all-time favorite, so I am excited about these. Um, it does say it is 20% recycled cotton. Those retail for $7.99, which is a great deal for shorts, and I paid $6.40. For these shorts, I got them in a size US 2. They are like a little bit longer than I would like, but the back I think looks good. The fit is nice too. Okay. This may be the one that I was questioning the most if, the, if I should have bought this. Um, but for some reason I've been vibing a lot with purple lately. I don't know, when you have beach vacation in mind, I feel like you buy bolder things than you wear in your everyday today. Like you just get into like a beach mode. But I'm going on two different beach vacations this summer, so I'm hoping I'll find I use for it. It retails for $30 and I paid $24 for that dress. Okay, so for this dress, I think it's similar to the blue where from profile show all the curves, but I think from the front, I do really like it. This design, I think makes it, you know, same as just horizontal lines. I think it helps make me look curvier, which is cool. I mean, I like it. I'm not like in love with it, but I do think it's fun and I'll definitely wear it. Guys, I'm very excited about this. I was actually in an H&M store with my mom before I made this order. But they did have this section that had a bunch of bucket hats and I kind of put one on as a joke, like, oh, what would this look like? And then 
it kind of stuck with me and I was like, I like that hat. So I tried to go online and there were a bunch of different bucket hats and then I was getting nervous that I bought a different style than the one I tried on in the store, but I was thinking way too much about it. And I figured worst case, like bucket hats should be good for beach. So yeah, I just got a tan one because I'm hoping hoping to wear it a decent amount and I just figured tan would go with more. I was $13, but it says I paid $10.40. Okay, it looks a little funny with this dress, but it actually fits pretty good. I also have a small head, so it's hard for me to find hats that, like most bucket hats when you sit them on, like it covers my eyes and looks a little funky, so. I'm actually kind of excited for this one. Seeing this with some dramatic sunnies, it's a vibe. It is time for some swimsuits. We're $13, so I paid $10.40. And that's just for the bottoms. I do understand why people sell them separate because, you know, sometimes you're a medium on the waist and a small on the top, but I feel like they get you more with prices by putting and then I got this blue top. I'm actually not sure if this swimsuit set's supposed to go to like the matching colors. So it's got a nice like underwire to it, very much bra style. And the padding is really good. And then also these necklines are really trendy and I was hoping it would be flattering on me. This was $25 and I paid $20. So I spent $30 for this bikini. All right, next is a pretty neutral dress. And this one I kind of threw in my basket and threw in the cart last minute. Um, but I realized I don't have like a lot of just white or tan. This one I'd say is more like a cream color, tannish cream. But yeah, just a simple, you know, little peep keyhole and halter top. And it's just cotton, but I thought this, again, kind of the same idea with that first blue dress, like, if I want to wear this in a swimsuit be underneath, but it's like, I throw this on to go to dinner or something, like, I feel like you can kind of piece it all together. So that's why I grabbed this one. Um, okay, I got it in size extra small. This was only $6.99 and I paid $5.60. Okay, well, first of all, I'm not really sure what bra you'd wear with this because I'm wearing my strapless, but you know, can you see right through it? So maybe this really will be best with a swimsuit. It's just thin cotton, so I wouldn't suggest going braless with this unless you have little pasties. But other than that, I really like this. I think the color is flattering. It does kind of show like the blue dress, all the lines. I feel very comfortable in it. Um, yeah, I think you could definitely dress it up or dress it down for whatever your occasion is. I've been wanting some linen pants. Granted, oh, these are really wide. Oh my gosh. I thought these were a lighter color. Oh no, they're decently tan. But I've been on the hunt for some good linen pants that aren't see-through because you would think go with like a white or a like cream color, but with the linen fabric, those can easily be see-through. There's a chance this one will be too, but I just figured the darker color is probably easier to get away with. Um, but yeah, these are high-waisted and wide leg ones, and then button and they cinch and tie, which is really nice. Like these actually do cinch on the waist. It's got some pockets in the front and back, and they're flared at the bottom. So my only hope is that um, these don't swallow me up too much. But I'm thinking if I pair it with a tight top, like that stretchy tube top, that the tightness with the bagginess will be flattering as long as you balance it out. So I got these in an extra small. The color is beige. They retail for $30 and I paid $24. Do H&M pants just run long? Because these are same, like similar to the other pants and that I probably have to have a wedge or heel on with this. I will say when I first put these on, I was nervous because the waist was pretty big, but I think the style of this is to actually have that cinch around the waist. So I almost think it was designed that way, you know, to run a little wide. So you do tie this and get that cinch and then you, you get the, the look that it's supposed to go for. So yeah, I'm in love with these. I'm very confused what this is. I don't know if it was by accident or they just threw a little extra accessory in there. Oh, they're hair ties. How cute. Yeah, I don't know if this is supposed to go in someone else's order, 
but they're like stretchy and satiny, which is kind of funny because I'm wearing one almost identical color right now, but this is like a braided one. But that's so cute. How exciting. Um, yeah, I don't know what the, oh, it says it's pure silk from H&M Premium. That's pretty bougie. Oh my gosh. This swimsuit, when I went in the store, like how I mentioned, I went into the store with my mom before I placed all this order. You know, there's sometimes where you want something, but then you leave the store and like, you're fine. And then you thought, okay, that was good. Like I didn't actually need that because I really haven't thought about it again. But I was thinking about this swimsuit so much. And so that was my main goal of all of this stuff was to for sure get this swimsuit. It's a purple, sparkly swimsuit but look at this now i didn't try this on in the store or anything so i'm not sure how cheeky it is it does have cinch on the back all the way down to the middle so that's kind of a lot of cinching but at least there's ties on the side to adjust it and i got this in a u.s size 2 so the bottoms were $8.99 and i paid seven dollars and twenty cents but okay here is the top this is a lot daintier than i was expecting like with the straps it's very beautiful but it does feel kind of fragile so i think this is great for just oh also has built-in padding i do think this is great for just regular swimming activities but i probably wouldn't suggest this kind for like a water park because it does seem a little delicate what size did i get this in us4 for the top and the top was 8.99 and I ended up paying $7.20. Okay, then the final item. <laughs> Guys, I don't really know what I was thinking with this one. It's definitely not my style. And I'm kind of on the fence of like, do I like it? Like, do I love it? Do I hate it? I don't know. <laughs> this reminds me so much of like 2000s fashion. And 2004, <laughs> 2006. Would you not see a celebrity wearing this with some like strappy heels? I got this in a size whoa but it says this is an extra extra small what was i thinking i usually can't even wear extra small things maybe maybe i can just get lucky with the fact that it's a dress that i can make that work but i don't i don't know what i was thinking it is 7.99 and i paid six dollars and 40 cents for it so pretty good deal this is a little too tight for me i was a little ambitious with the sizing so i think i'm going to give this to one of my other sisters I think they're both like petite, so I think this would look better on them. I don't think it necessarily looks bad on me, but it is very tight like around here. Um, so I'm not loving like how it's moving on me just because it's so tight, it's not very comfortable. And then it is also tight on the thighs and pretty short. But yeah, I'm gonna pass on this one. But other than that, I think all this stuff was so great. I was gonna tell you guys if you're curious the actual like exact grand total. Okay, so total for all of these items at their original like retail value on the website was $258.84. But like I said, there was the Memorial Day sale. So with the discounts on the site, I saved in discounts $96.44. Then I had $150 gift card. So when I applied my gift card, what was left for me to pay out of pocket was $12.40. And then on top of that was the estimated taxes of $13.40. So in total, once I used my gift cards, what I, paid myself was $25.80. What a steal, right? I think that's it for this video. Also wanted to say thank you so much for all the love on my cider haul. That's also a summer haul that I did recently. So definitely go check that out if you like these kind of videos. And yeah, if you're not already, please subscribe because it really helps my channel. Also comment and like the video if you want to. And yeah, I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.